shit up. Tryna turn this shit way up. Models dancing on boats. They all tryna get laid up. Drinking like we all know. Play the cut till it's all out. Baby shots of a drone. Hella faded on all out. Good YouTube, it's your girl Chain. What's up? It's your boy Ace. And we are back with a story time video for you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now y'all already know. In that last video, we told y'all a story happened. We told y'all something happened to Ace. And we told y'all to comment below if y'all wanted to know about it. Mm -hmm. Right? We got so many comments, we decided to do this video right away for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Just let them know what's about to, what we're about to talk about. Now y'all, I'm probably going to be kind of quiet because I know all about it, but... I wasn't there, so I wasn't there to experience the emotions and things of that nature. So I will be listening just like you guys. All right, well, some of you guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all emotional or shit like that, so make sure you grab some tissue and shit. Um, it's not like it's a proud story to tell, but you know, I feel like you guys are my family, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speak, speak real. You feel me? Speak what it is. All right, so a couple years ago and shit, you know what I'm saying? A couple years ago and shit, you know what I'm saying? It was it was my people's birthday and shit, you feel me? Uh, more like it was a tattoo party and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm, uh, I went there, you know, go get a tattoo and shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I remember like yesterday, you feel me? Shit like this, you can remember like yesterday because it's a, it was a real critical moment, you feel me? All right, so... I mean, so I go there, you know what I'm saying? I went for the tattoo party and stuff. I went, uh, wanted to get like a tattoo on my arm. It was supposed to be like a, like a, like a Detroit one. It was gonna be like on my arm. So, cuz he done drew my tattoo out and shit for me, being the motherfucker was nice and shit, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to get it, supposed to get it all the way done. I ain't even get the tattoo done and shit, you feel me? Because I was being a little chicken, you know what I'm saying? I was like, shit. Um, no, nah, I don't know if I want to take all this ink right now, you feel me? So, you know, I kind of, I kind of passed it on, like, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm probably, probably get at you tomorrow or something for it, you feel me? So, you know, um, at the time stuff, I was, uh, where was I at? Oh, yeah, I was on the east side and shit, you feel me? On the east side, you know, east side, whatever, and, um, I got a call and stuff, you know, that's when I was trying to be, you know, one of them dull boys out here, you feel me? And there's no life for you, you feel me? Just to let you guys know that everybody's slinging drugs. It's not cool. It's not not the life to go. So, with that being said, um, it's it's like this, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm you know, I'm doing my thing or whatever, you know, I'm already I'm buzzing, you feel me? I'm buzzing from this tattoo party, you know what I'm saying? And there was a couple parties going on and shit that that I got invited to, you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, damn, what party should I go to, you feel me? What party should I go to and shit like that, whatever. And then, like I told you and shit, it was my people's birthday and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, we was already getting lit from, from the tattoo party. Um, but at the time and shit, I was a little hothead, you know? You know I was hothead and shit. I uh, basically, uh, you know, I wanted to, you know, I had drugs on me and shit, like, you know, like pills and stuff, you know, whatever. So, um, I know a couple people that, that, that needed some pills and stuff like that, or whatever. Um, and I'm like, all right, well, shit. I got this call. I'm like, oh, all right, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, you know, I'm looking on my phone and shit. You know, I got text messages and shit. So I'm like, all right. So, you know, I went ahead and um, pieced everybody up and stuff and let them know, hey, I'm about to, about to get up out this thing, you know, a little early and stuff. Um, I got to go handle some business real quick, you feel me? So, man, sure enough, I make my way to the west side. <laughs> this is where this is where it all goes down. Um, I made my way to the west side, whatever. And um, I don't know what it was, but it was this girl that I was talking to. You know, um, you know, I was kicking her with at the time and shit, whatever. And um, man, I don't know if the dude, the you know, the girl's dude was jealous. Or it will if it was you know, I don't know if it was it was her baby daddy. I, I don't know if it was some ex that was just stalking her. I don't know what it was, but alright, long story short, I ended up going over there, you feel me? She's the one that needed the pills, you feel me? So I go over there, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know. Um, I pull up, you know, onto the street or whatever. And, you know, she comes outside 
or no, nah, I guess it was so dark outside. I don't know if she was already inside the house, came outside, or what the case might be. You know what I'm saying? I'm already pulled up. Then, you know, I parked and shit. It's not like I'm looking outside to see where she at and shit like that. So, you know, um, I parked, whatever. And then I just see her come to the door. Baby. So, you know, open the door up and shit. Then she gets in and shit. So, I ain't think nothing of it though, you feel me? But the thing is, I'm already lit. I'm fucked up and shit, you know. I'm off the liquor and shit, so, you know, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the zone, you feel me? Man. So, she basically, you know, gives me a hug or whatever, you feel me? And let me know, you know. She's like, yeah, so, you know, how you been? You know, how was the party? She's like that, you know, you know, it's cool, it's cool. You know, uh, how's your day? Stuff like that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whoopsie whoop. So I'm like, all right, but look, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, so I'm just like, shit. Um, mm, I mean, how many deals you need? Them? Cause I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought I'm about to still slide out and go ahead and the party and shit, whatever. She like, uh, I'm not even sure yet, whatever. You feel me? So, oh man, I feel like it was a setup. You know what I'm saying? The, the way it went down, I feel like it was a setup because. One dude comes on one side of the car, you feel me? He comes in like a, like a trench coat, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't really give a fuck, though. This dude ain't got no type of face mask on, nothing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, boy wasn't scared, you feel me? But he ain't coming with no gun or nothing, you feel me? He came with a knife. Um, but the dude on the passenger side, now that's a different story. Dude came with a whole 357, you feel me? Bag. My dumb ass had the windows down. Man. Had the windows down, bro. I swear to God, man. I was not thinking at the time. I mean, and I, I had my, my nice little watch on and shit, my little chain and shit. Had the fresh cut going on and shit, you feel me? Man, I think I just got paid too. So you know I had a couple of hundred in my pocket. Shit, crazy, man. So all I know is, all I know is, right? The shit goes down so fast. Dude on the passenger side. All I see was a gun. Come inside, you know, like the window and shit. Come inside the window like this, you feel me? And before, like, it's, it's, it's just so crazy. It's not it's not like you can hurry up and speed off or, or hurry up and get out the car type thing. This shit happens so quick. It's like, man, you, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know what the, I really don't know what to do because I've never been in this situation. So it's like, all in this in this in this small ass time time frame, it's like, what the fuck is going on? You see me? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck is really going on right now? You know what I'm saying? And all I see is the gun. I just I just see a big ass up there. What the? You know what I'm saying? I'm, and, and then the boy said, you know what time it is. I'm like, shit, shit. Uh, you, you know, I, I'm I'm sh I'm shocked. I'm. I'm scared. I, you know, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, man. This shit was crazy, dog. All I know is the dude on the driver's side, like, he like, uh, uh, don't, don't even make a move. Don't even make a move. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm surrounded. What the fuck, baby girl in the car, and shit. All I heard, she just start, ah, oh, like, start screaming and shit. I'm like, dog, what the fuck is going on? So I'm like, dog, this shit is crazy. So I can't do shit. You feel me? I can't do shit. So. You know, I'm just listening to Ellie saying, like, you know what time it is. All I heard was, you know what time it is. So, you know, the, the way I think the way it was, was, yeah, I had my hand on the steering wheel or whatever. You know, some type of way and shit. And then when I when it all going down and shit, then I put my hands up like this. Like, oh, what going on? You feel me? I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, hey, no, no, hey no, just, just don't shoot. You feel me? Just like, you know, don't shoot and shit. Watch all glistening shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, man, like, what you need, you feel me? You just, hey, look, you can have it, you feel me? Something like that. So I'm like, eh, look, just don't shoot me and shit. But I don't know what it was. I don't know if he thought I was about to grab something, like grab something from out of my seat or something. I don't know what it was, you know what I'm saying? So he didn't even give me a chance. I ain't gonna hold you up. He didn't give me a chance. It was like, after he said, you know what time it is, I looked over, boy to the left, you feel me? This outside the car and shit. He, like I said, he ain't had no gun. He had a knife, you feel me? So, I think 
I don't know what it was. It was some type of something happened, a reaction happened to where somebody had moved or something and Bull probably thought I was about to do something. So he shot me. But the way he shot me was crazy because it's not like he did like that and, you know, aimed for like my chest or something. He aimed like this and he cocked back a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But he shot it though. But the way the gun shot, it didn't shoot like my chest or my stomach or nothing, he shot my leg. He shot my leg. And the way he shot my leg, you know, come, you know how the gun is shooting, you know, and you aiming or whatever case might have been. I don't know if it was the fabric of my clothes or what it was, but I'm blessed to this day because it didn't hit no major, like, arteries, nerves, arteries, nerves in my, my leg or nothing, you feel me? Because a gun like that in the bullets, it went straight through though, right? It went straight through. It didn't stay in or nothing. It it went, you know, you one side to, leg and it came out from underneath the uh, kneecap. Don't know how. I don't know. But at the time though, you know what I'm saying? At the time shit, I ain't I didn't even know. You know all I know is I'm shot. I'm shot. So boy probably like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So all I heard was grab his phone, grab his phone, grab his phone, shit like that. And you know, girl gets out the car screaming, running, whatever the case might have been. But on the driver's side, he opens up the door for me, feel me? Opens up the door, it has me crawl onto the ground. While I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, man. Cause it's, I mean, me telling you this story right now, How I don't know. How did they get out of that? Hmm? They hardly got anything. I mean, they got my watch, my phone, a couple hundred dollars. Material stuff. Material shit, you feel me? That's why I don't They didn't even take my car. That was the tripping part. That was the tripping part. For real, they didn't even take my car. Boy, on the driver's side, like I told you, he had a knife and shit, feel me? All he did was he went into my pockets, grabbed my little money and shit, took my little watch and shit, you feel me? And, shit, that was about it. I mean, dude, he, he didn't like say like, yo, shut up, don't say nothing. He ain't he threatened me, nothing. He actually, he actually got the fuck on. It was another car, it was like two other cars or whatever. They went past and shit. I don't know if they was making sure they was good or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it, it was something to it though, you know what I'm saying? All I know is a couple minutes later, I'm on the grounds to remind you. Nobody's coming to my help. No one's coming for me. It's a dark ass, a street, you feel me, at that. I somehow bear to get up, get back in my car. But before I can get in the car, I actually got up, cause I had a Malibu, I had a Malibu at the time. Um, you know, a little green Malibu and shit. It was like 2003 or something like that. Um, you know, I got to the back of it, to the trunk or whatever. And, you know, I sat there for a minute. How, however, when you get shot, you don't feel your pain right away. Anybody that knows, that's been shot, they know what I'm talking about. You don't feel the pain right away. Your adrenaline is just so, so high up. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? So, that being said, um, so, you know, I rushed back, get inside the car, whatever. Um, man, it, it was, it was, it's, it's crazy because I got back in the car, me being shot and all, I got back in the car, didn't have no, no phone. I ain't have shit. I had nothing. No phone? So, no. Nothing. But you know what's crazy is? I had that key though. I don't know what I was doing or how it was. With the car key? I had the car key because it was just car key by itself. It wasn't no, no chain to it, no nothing. I just had the car key. I had it in my hand though. The tuck and it was in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they wasn't looking at my hand or whatever, or whatever the case might be. Oh, and I did. I did. I did have something that, that dope. That's going to trip y'all out too. I had $200 bills, right? It was tucked. In a little right. extra pocket. It was in a little extra pocket right here. It was tucked all the way down. Mm -hmm. You know, they sweatpants, you feel me? But that, them particular, you know, particular sweatpants, they had a little, had extra, a little pocket. extra pocket. Mm -hmm. And I did that for myself. I did that for myself because I was like, you know what? I'm about to get a little drunk. I don't want to spend all this extra money on me, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I just kept my hunts. I kept them in, tucked in there, you feel me? I had mm -hmm. 50s and some 20s and shit all in my pocket. With ones and shit too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mind you, I was gonna get tattooed. Mm -hmm. So that was about to be my money I was about to spend, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was crazy, I had that. But long story short, I end up getting back into the car, turning on the car, and getting the fuck on. Mm -hmm. Where I was at though, where I was, the street I was on, I wasn't that far from my friend's house and shit. So I end up, I thought I remembered her number and shit, whatever. 
but I didn't. Like, you know, her address, mm -hmm. I ended up going to this old lady's address. It was an old lady's address I went to. I uh, parked the car in her driveway, thinking that it was her house, that was my friend's house, but it wasn't. It was never my friend's house, it was an old lady's house. I'm knocking on the door, like, open the door up, open the door. Oh, man. Um, yeah, when they finally opened the door, it was an old lady. Mm -hmm. the old lady, like, are, are you okay, sir? I'm like, uh, yeah, is it actually in there? You know, I'm thinking that's what I thought whose house it was, but it wasn't. It wasn't her house at all. So, mind you, I'm shot. I'm already in a whole nother mode. I'm all, I'm in a whole nother stage. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm oblivious. I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. I'm thinking that I'm at my friend house, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I wasn't even bleeding like that. You know, those sweatpants that you have on them thick sweatpants. So, I had blood, you know what I'm saying, but it wasn't coming out at, you know, right away or whatever for some odd reason, you know what I'm saying, I felt blood, but it wasn't getting to me, and so after I just sat there for a minute, mm -hmm. when I was at the, the, the lady's door, the old lady's door, mm -hmm. it's then it started just coming out of nowhere, it just started bum rushing, I'm like, whoa, what the, oh, what the, I'm shot, so I'm like, man, you know what, I just been shot, you know, um, can you call the, you know, call the, the police, without, you know, um, you know, call the, go call, call somebody, man, you know, and the lady, I don't know what, she just, <coughs> I, I think she was scared, you know, it was like three or four in the morning, you know, at the time and shit, and, um, man, all I know is, I seen them, <laughs> them blue and red lights, mm -hmm. man, I knew they was there, okay, yeah, man, and that's when they took me away, put me in the ambulance and stuff, man. I went to the hospital, you know. So how do you feel about like your life now? Ooh, man, I'm just saying that's it's a blessing just being you know being alive because and being able to walk because you you just don't understand that that night could have really changed my life. You could have been paralyzed, waist down, or anything could have anything could have happened. You wouldn't be able to walk again, anything. So a lot of people I don't know if y'all know me by my nickname by Superman. But I really live up to that now because of the, the, the different situations I've been into. And I, you know me coming out of them so blessed. I'm, I, you know, I feel like I'm Superman. You know what I'm saying? I feel the like Superman night, too. The kryptonite, it do, it do. It hits me, it hits me hard. You know what I'm saying? But I just, you know, somehow I get around and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just mm -hmm. thank everybody for really listening to this. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't easy for me to tell this story. So just bear with me if, you know, you guys... So if you missed anything, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'll be sure to still, you know, add that in somewhere, you know, in the comment box or whatever. But, you know, y'all want this story time, so I gave it to y'all. You feel me? No. I haven't, I haven't done anything like this in a real long time to where I'm speaking it to thousands of people, you know, letting them know about my story. Mm -hmm. It's, it's nothing, it's nothing easy and it's nothing fun to tell. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, like. Um, the one, one I'm not gonna tell you, you know whose name it was or whatever, but you say you had an un, a unbearable story, and where your injury was, and how you're still living today. Just know you're blessed, you know, mm -hmm. and um, just appreciate what's going on, you know, Definitely around blessed. you and stuff. Because people, um, I'm gonna tell you one thing: people could be here one day and be gone the next. So just make the sure next you second, the next hour, just the next minute. make sure you appreciate who the people that surround you and you appreciate them. You know what I'm saying? Because make sure you show them that too. Things could be real crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? It's a cold world we already live in. So now y'all, we have another extension to this story time where, which it might be real messed up, but we he actually saw the person who shot him one day. So if you guys you are interested, you want to know how am I handling that or did I handle that? Well, let's make sure you know. comment below. Yep, comment below if you want another story time about the guy who actually shot him and us at him actually seeing him. If you want to know how the emotion and all that stuff was going that day. Make sure y'all like this video. Please like the video. It's bro. not lovely, but I mean, y'all need to know Ace a little more. It's not you know, the cool on the deeper story, level. you know what I'm saying? It's just, y'all want to, I'm bringing you a piece of my life to you, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Just and it takes a lot to do that because that's really a very sensitive spot. So we want y'all to understand that we unconditionally love y'all. That's the reason we make videos and post them every single day for y'all. 
we support y'all because y'all support us, okay? So everything we do is for y'all when it comes to this camera, it comes to being on set and things of that nature. We do stuff that we don't normally do, you know, regularly, just for y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, appreciate it. So we will definitely, if y'all guys like this video, make sure you like. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Go hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can see every time we make a post. Now guess what? We will holler at you guys. In our next story time. In our next story time video. Please. Sounds like a Sounds like a situation. Sounds like a situation. Try to turn the shit up. Try to turn the shit way up.